Trevino, and I'm with a company called Premier Pottery Imports and today we're going to show you how to plant up a very simple little strawberry jar. Uh, we were at Wasco Nurseries over the weekend for their open house and uh, bought these beautiful herbs. We've got some, uh, some basil, we've got some parsley, we've got uh, thyme, rosemary, and oregano. Um, we're going to plant it up so you can have a beautiful little herb garden in your house or on your patio. Uh, some people call this an Italian herb garden. You can call it a pizza garden, whatever you want. But it's all usable uh, herbs that you can uh, pick and eat all summer long. Um, we're going to start out with a good good brand of potting soil. Um, you need good potting soil. Uh, this is the kind that has the little pellets in it so it'll help absorb some of the moisture um, so you don't dry out the plant so quickly. And we're also using a natural terracotta potted breeze very nicely for the plants and we'll just start out with the, just a little bit of soil at the bottom there we go. nothing fancy about this at all it's going to be very quick very simple I think we want to do this is going to get very tall so we're going to put this towards the back at the bottom so it has room to grow up and we're pulling it out this is very got a lot real very good root system we're just going to break this up a little bit it's not going to hurt the plant at all. As you can see, we got a very, very good selection of herbs from, from Wasco. They have some premium, premium quality herbs there. Right, that's going to go in there. And we want it pretty much to face upward. start with this pocket in the front here we'll do our oregano again just breaking up a little so it fits in the pocket a little make sure it gets all the way in there so it doesn't pop out thing of beauty. You can already smell. It smells wonderful. More soil in. And we are going to start. We're going to do the, uh, now we're going to put the thyme in. Put that up a little bit. Beautiful root system. Here. Again, well inside. Not going to fall out. Right. On this side we're going to go with the rosemary. This is, looks small but this will get very, very large. There, that one sits just nicely. Right. And you don't have to do just herbs. You can do uh, annuals, impatience. If you put impatience in here you'll just get a big giant ball of flowers. That looks really pretty. You can also do succulents and cactuses in these. And of course you can do strawberry. Strawberries. That's great. That's pretty big. Now we're gonna try our big guys on top. That. You wanna leave some room at the top so that you can make a reservoir of water. doing a lot of basil because we love basil. Good for pesto sauce. That went in there nicely. More soil. Press down firmly. water slowly otherwise you're going to have a heck of a mess. A little at a time let it soak in. 
and just do it again. If you could smell this, it smells fantastic. You can pull it off and eat it if you want right now. And you want to keep watering that until the water comes out of the bottom, which is going to take a while, since we're doing it so slowly. And you get the idea of how you can create a beautiful, usable container garden for your home, for your patio, for your deck. Usable throughout the whole season. And we'll show you that what it's gonna look like. You've got all your herbs. And it really is beautiful to look at, wonderful to eat, fun to do. And here's the finished product. And I'd like to thank you again from Premier Pottery Imports. So go out there, buy your pots, and do some gardening.